In this system, we have a block of mass M in static equilibrium, and eventually the block is gonna go down to a smooth inclined plane of 30 degrees, and it's gonna make contact here. So the, the problem is asking us to determine the time elapsed from the first contact of the spring until it breaks contact again. I'm gonna start working this system by drawing a free body diagram for static equilibrium position, which is this initial position. So the free body diagram in static equilibrium position, we're gonna have the mass spring, and this is 30 degree. And we're gonna see what are the forces acting on the mass. So we have the weight and the spring's force. And the spring force is acting in this direction. Now, sum of forces in static equilibrium, let's define this is the x-axis, and let's define that x going in this direction is positive. So we have sum of forces in x equals minus the spring force plus the weight, but the weight will be in the direction, the component of the weight in the x direction, which is gonna be uh, mg sine 30 degrees. And that is equal to zero. So that means that Fs equals mg sine 30 degrees. And let's define what Fs is, which is the stiffness of the spring by the stretch. In static equilibrium, stretch of the static equilibrium will be defined by this variable. And then mg sine 30 degree is one over two. So now we can find what was the stretch in static equilibrium, which is mg over two k. And as we have defined this initial stretch of the spring that caused the system to be balanced in static equilibrium or no movement. Now, Let's, let's write what is the differential equation that govern the movement of this mass in the spring. So the differential equation governing this system, uh, and there's no damping, recognizing there's no damping, is given by the following equation. And we arrange these terms, we can say that uh, dn x double dot plus wn square x equals zero, because notice that k over m is equal to wn square. Okay, now for us to, we need to solve this differential equation, and the solution for this differential equation give us the displacement, right? So we wanna, we already have this equation solved with the standard solution, of the following form, xt equals the initial displacement by cosine w and t plus the velocity, the initial velocity plus sine w and t. And the derivative of this equation gives us the velocity, so the velocity is equal to minus wn, initial displacement, sine w and t plus the initial velocity, Wn by Wn cosine Wnt, which is this goes simplify equation will be minus Wn initial displacement sine Wnt plus x dot zero Wn. I'm sorry, cosine Wnt. Okay, because these terms are gonna cancel out. So now we have these solutions and we're going to work with this equation one and two to solve the problem. Now let's recognize that the initial displacement that we're going to use in this equation is the static equilibrium stretch of the spring because when the mass or these uh, uh, when the object slice down and do first contact, that will be the initial um, displacement. And then we wanna find 
we, we know that we're gonna find the time so we can substitute in these equations to get the time. There is also an initial velocity that we're gonna uh, substitute in here. So let's start by doing those substitutions. Let's start with equation one. So we get equation one, we have xt equals x0 cosine w and t plus x dot zero w and sine w and t. And um, substituting the initial displacement and the displacement when the system goes back to the initial uh, position, we're gonna have something like this. Or just to use the same nomenclature here, this is gonna be the same as this. And we're just substituting in equation one, WT plus V0, WN sine WNT. Okay, now let's do the same for equation two. Substituting the values in equation two, we have the initial velocity equals minus WN, the minus the deflection, the initial deflection, sine WNT plus V0 cosine WNT. Now this is gonna become positive and let's now rearrange these equations a little bit uh, further. Let's just work in this section here. And we're gonna get, so let's just uh, now divide each of the equations by cosine W and T. And we're gonna have an expression like this. For an equation one, we're gonna have static deflection over cosine W and T. And that is gonna be equal to the same plus um, V zero W N tangent w and t. So when we divided this equation, this equation over cosine, we're gonna get an expression like this, of this form. Now, let's do the same for the second equation for the velocity. So we're gonna divide the second equation as well over cosine w and t. tangent W and T, okay? Plus V zero. We're dividing this equation over here over cosine W and T to get the, an expression more simplified with the tangent, okay? Now we're gonna work with these uh, equations that we have defined here. Um, Let's now divide one equation over the other to keep simplifying. So we're gonna divide these over these and we're gonna get the following. So we're gonna get minus static deflation over we're going to get this expression so if you notice this is going to be cancelled out and rearranging uh, this equation a little bit further we're going to have an expression of the following form. So these are gonna cancel out and it's gonna be a positive uh, expression. Now, 
we're going to cross multiply these so we can have an, express, an expression of the tangent of W and T. So the idea or the objective is to get this expression so we can solve with the inverse of the tangent to get time. So let's define now, let's just cross multiply these two equations and to be able to solve for tangent. So I'm gonna have the deflection is still positive because these are gonna be positive and cancel out. Multiply by WN static deflection plus tangent WNT plus V0. And now we're going to have this equals to this. So it's going to be equals to V0 multiplied by minus static deflection tangent WNT. Okay. Let's keep working with this equation and rearranging the terms uh, further so we can solve for the tangent. So we can notice here that this is going to be square WN tangent WNT plus V0 static deflection. Let's divide over V0 here. So we have this term um, uh, solved here. And then um, we're going to have this term equals to minus static deflection plus V0 over Wn tangent Wnt. So I divide it over V0 here. So I get this, um, this expression. Okay, and this is a multiplication here. Okay, now um, I can then factor this equation by the tangent of the system, and I would do so as follow. I'm gonna be uh, arranging this further. So if I have, let me just move this a little bit, uh, this up. We're going to have uh, an expression. We're going to keep working with this. And let me just separate this a little bit. So let's rearrange these. And we're going to have like an expression of the following form. So please notice that what I did is that, first of all, I pass, so I move these terms um, in group for the tangent. So this term here is represented by this section here. And then um, the term for the square of the static deflection was moved to this, uh, to the right of the equation and is this term here. Now, we can then continue working with this. So this goes here is equal to tangent W and T Okay. So now I have this and now I can solve for the tangent. Now I will be able to solve for tangent W and T which is going to be equal to two times static deflection over all of these terms. Okay. If I multiply this equation by Wn to simplify this a little bit, I'm going to have tangent Wnt equals to to time static deflation by Wn over multiplying here by Wn, this cancels out and I get V0, initial velocity, static deflation square 
over V0, W1 squared. Okay, now I'm going to multiply by V0, so I can uh, keep simplifying the equation even further. So if I multiply again by this equation by V0 over V0, I'm going to have tangent W and T equals to 2 static deflection W and by V0 over V0 squared minus static deflection squared W and squared. So what I need to do now is to substitute the value of the static deflection, which I already find out previously in this problem, uh, up here to be equal to mg over 2k. Now I'm going to substitute the static deflection that we previously find, found to be equal to the static deflection that we previously found was uh, equal to mg over 2k. I'm going to substitute in the equation for tangent that we obtained. So we got that the tangent W and T is equal to 2 static deflection W and V0 over V0 squared minus static deflection squared W and squared. So substituting these into this equation, we're going to get something like this. 2, 1 over 2, mg over over k, w and v0, over v0 squared minus 1 over 2 mg over k squared, w and squared. Now let's simplify this a little bit more. We got mg over k, w n is k over m, v0 over v0 squared minus and this is going to be 1, 4, m squared, g squared, k squared, and wn is k over m. And here, wn squared. So here, let's notice that this is the square root of w. wn is the square root of k over m. We keep working with this uh, algebra to continue simplifying this equation even further. And we're going to get, um, this can be simplified by having, so when you do this uh, multiplication, you're going to have g v0, the square root of m over k, and this is tangent w e, w and t, and t, and we're going to have that over v0 square minus 1 over 4 mg square over k. Because notice this is going to cancel out. Now let's find the inverse tangent. So we have w and t is equal to the inverse tangent of all of these terms. And now to solve for time, we just have to take the inverse as illustrated here of the tangent. And then the time is gonna be equals to the inverse tangent g v0 m over k over v0 square minus 1 over 4 m g square over k divided by w n. And that would be the solution for our time. For more videos on how to uh, work and solve with engineering vibrations and control problems, you can subscribe to my channel. Thank you.